Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Glory MC series as well as the Moonrise Beach series. So today's video is going to be an update on my planner system. I have changed things up a bit. So I'm going to show you what I've done to hopefully um, help me better organize my life and um, not have too many planners going on at one time. Obviously, I do have four planners here and um, these two are personal wide and B6 rings. Um, and then I also have a five size here. Um, and I've chosen to move up to a larger planner for my personal stuff just because I found that pre-planning in my pocket was getting a little bit too cramped for me, um, especially for this month and next month, September, um, it's going to be quite a busy time for me. I have a new book coming out, and so preparation for that requires me to have a lot more space. I also have new releases coming to my Etsy shop. Um, so I am planning all that stuff here in my B6 Vintage Rose. So um, I think this is a good system for me. I'm hoping that I can keep this up. Um, going into 2021. Um, I know it's a little bit too early to talk about next year, um, but I do want to have a system in place that won't require me to change a lot of things, just so that it will have a seamless transition into the new year. So that's why I moved into a larger size. So I'm going to show you what I have in both of these planners. These ones have pretty much stayed the same. This is an A5 size. This is my main author planner. Um, it's my main work planner. And then I also have a um, notebook in here. So I will show you um, starting from this side and then we'll move on to the um, B6 and personal wine a little bit later. So this is one of my newest Foxy fixes. Um, this cover is the A5 Perfect Fit cover. So it's meant to hold A5 notebooks like the Hobonichi Cousin, um, the A5 Lutstrums, or A5 Stalogies. Um, and this is in the Spice Salt shade. I have white elastics and white stitching. Um, this bow clip, um, I did haul it recently, so I will link that below. And this is from Glimmer and Glam. And then I do have just like this pouch that I made that I keep it in because it is white. So I do want to make sure that it's protected. Um, so in here I have um, an A5 um, Lutstrom. So this is a dot grid notebook and I do have a video on this as well. And this is what I'm using as my author notebook. So outlining books, um, any research for my books, um, editor notes, character notes, anything like that will go in here. So this is like the planning of my actual book and how it's going to be written and all that kind of stuff. Um, I prefer to have it in a notebook rather than on the computer because I like to have my screen where I'm actually writing the manuscript up. And then um, I like to have this beside me alongside my planner. And that way I don't have to be switching between windows so much. Um, and I just have everything right here so it's really portable and I can take this on the go with me. So this little sticker is from Hello Paper Cat and I do have these tab stickers, these monthly tab stickers um, from Aribea Shop. I have a code in the description um, for you. So um, these are her monthly Hobonichi tabs and I actually use them in the A5 and they work perfectly. So she has like this blush pink with this font and then a cute font. And then I also have the black which I've been using. So this um, cover has the crisscross pockets and then the little pocket here as well. So in the pocket, I just have this bow marker and this is from Purpose Papery. And then this journaling card says, you just shine. And that is from Kiki K. So I just keep that in there for a little deco. Um, and then the back just has um, the place where you slip in the notebook and then this little pocket here, which I don't have anything in it. Um, the color of this Lurchstrom is the pink one. So it's just called powder and it comes with two of these page markers. So I have a new notebook going into the rest of the year. So um, yeah, so this is my author notebook where all the plotting, um, outlining 
before my books happen. And then this A5 um, Kiki K is actually where the planning, um, social media, marketing, promotions, all that kind of stuff goes in here. So nothing much has changed in this particular planner. I've been in the same size for maybe three or four years now. Um, I really love the A5 size because it has a ton of room and obviously as a work planner you do need that room. Um, this is one of the newer planners that I got from Kiki Hay, so I have a haul video on that. Um, and this one is the A5 um, Almond. So it just has um, the double clasp and it has the gold hardware. So as you can see, everything is pretty much the same in here. Um, I do still have my sticker pocket here where I just keep some um, various foiled stickers. So I have some checklist stickers here and other functional pieces. Um, and this is just a sticker pocket that I made um, using some Jacenia principles. Usually here I would just keep um, checks that I need to deposit, but I took that out for the video. I have these page flags and these are from Michaels. And then I have um, a couple of journaling cards. So this one is a affirmation card from Kiki K and this one is also from Kiki K. It's from a paper lover's book. So I love the gold foiling because it matches the planner. And then I do just have a couple of Lovely Mind sampler stickers just in case um, I want to use them. Um, and then the pen that I have is a matching pen and it's also from Kiki K. So this is the almond and the gold. So it matches perfectly with this planner. So this dashboard is one that I made using some clip art. Um, I don't remember the artist's name, but I will link her down below. So I just arranged it how I wanted to. And then I also made it into a pocket. So it has like a little slit here and I put some more of the artwork. So in here I have some foil stickers. So these are from Samantha May Stick, Simply Beautiful Plans. And I just have various ones that I like to use in my spreads. And then this is just some note paper from Cloth and Paper in case I need it. Um, then I have this. This is a sticky notes dashboard and I like to use them on the tabs as temporary tabs. Um, and this is from Kiki K. Um, this little card holder thing is from Cloth and Paper. And inside I just put my functional dot sticker so I have quite a few of them. And I use these quite a lot. And these are from Aribea Shop. And then I just have a gift card, a pink gift card, um, which I use to cut my washi with. So my first section is my monthly section. So this adhesive pocket is from Rose Color Days and I do have a purpose papery die cut in there. Um, this clip, this part is from Inspired Peach and I put it on a clip from Glimmer and Glam Co. And this one is from her as well and this is from Inspired Peach. And so I have my monthly here. I haven't done August yet, but um, I just put a little bit of washi and yeah, I keep it really, really simple. And then I have a yearly at the back from SM Plans. Um, I do have an Ollie clip here holding my inbox section. So this is just a basic list insert from Annie Plans. And basically I just put um, everything and anything that I need to do or need to remember, I just pop it here and then later on I will go through it um, in my weekly review. Um, this is a top loading page marker that I made using some Planner Society paper and then I just have a journaling card. P journaling card is from Hello Paper Cat. Um, these clear dividers that I have in here, the top loading ones, these are from Cloth and Paper and I use them to kind of subdivide my sections. So this Next section is my weekly, and I just have it clipped off, and I'm using any plans vertical inserts. I'm not going to show you my weekly because I do have um, some new information that I haven't released yet. Um, again, a cloth and paper divider, and then this is from cloth and paper too, this um, sticky note. And then I go into my tracker. 
So this is what the tracker looks like. Um, you have your list of items that you need to do monthly on this side and then you just check it off. So as you can see, I've been checking things off as I go. Um, and again, I have another top loading page marker and I made that with TPS paper. And this journaling card is from Kiki K. So this next section is where I do my monthly reviews. So I have the dates listed out here and then what I'll do is I will kind of break down the month and um, kind of reflect on it. So I have a clear um, understanding of how the month went and where I am in terms of my goals. And then I also keep track of monthly bills on these post-it notes. So my next section is my social media calendar. So I'm not gonna show you this, but basically I will keep track of my blog posts, my newsletters that go out, um, my YouTube videos, um, and anything else that I am participating in that's on a more social level. So that is what this calendar is for. And then at the bottom here, I do have it clipped off. And, and this is just a little moon clip from Sweet Paper Bliss. I do have a black version of this as well. My next section is my current project section and I just have one of the um, iridescent acetates here with another Rose Color Days pocket and then this little die cut is from Tool & Twine Co. So this project section um, I can't really show because it just has um, a page for each one of my books. So I tend to work on multiple books at the same time. So sometimes it can be a little bit confusing, especially um, if you're jumping back and forth within um, different books. So I just have a sheet and then I just list out all the tasks that I need to do for each of the books and then I will just check them off. So each project or each book has a single page. This next section is my promo section. So this is where I keep track of um, my marketing plan for my books. And then the very last section is my list and reference section. So I just have basic lists. Um, I haven't actually used this section as much this year. Um, and then I do have this acetate, um, which is from an older Carpe Diem planner, but I like it because it's so sturdy. And then I just have reference section here at the back, which has um, finance information. So I won't be showing you that. And then I did make a kind of pocket here using some Planner Society paper. So I do have some foiled stickers again. Um, these sticky notes are from Kiki K. Um, I have another pocket here on the back and then just some sticky notes just in case. Um, and then I do have another one of the cloth and paper dividers. This black sticky note is from Kiki K and then the transparent ones and the marble ones are from cloth and paper. And then my page lifter at the back is from Hello Paper Cat. And then I just have the extra notepad for any notes. So that is what my main work planner is looking like right now. This is the one that I use every single day. Um, and if I can only choose one planner, it has to be this one, obviously, for work purposes. Um, this is the one that I can't live without. So that is my A5 planner. Once again, this is the Almond Kiki K. So these two together are my work planners. Um, and, you know, I've been an author for five years now, and this is the system that I've been using for um, at least four or five years. So. Um, if it's not broken, I'm definitely not going to change anything about it. The A5 rings and the notebook combination just seems to work perfectly for me. So I am definitely moving on with this system for my work life. Now if you watched my previous planner system update, um, I did have a B6TN from Foxy Fix. It was a sugar coconut and um, I showed you that one briefly. Um, but I didn't tell you what that planner was for uh, because um, it was a secret at the time. But now that the shop is open, I can tell you that it was my shop planner. So if you don't know, I do have an Etsy shop and it's called Anna Jolene Printables. And I sell 
um, planner inserts and stickers. So I am getting ready for some new releases in the shop. And so I wanted to um, move into a ring planner just so that I can have it out, um, have it lay flat. And um, I also wanted to have um, multiple planners in case um, you know the shop grows and I need to expand a little bit. So this planner is also new. It's also from Kiki K. Um, and this is in the vintage rose. So I do have this in the A5 size already and I really love it. I love the color. It's so neutral, but still has that rosiness that I really like. Um, so I ended up getting the B6 size and I'm going to be using B6 rings for uh, my shop. So this is my shop planner, my Etsy planner. Um, and I will show you what it looks like. So this one kind of has the same configuration as my A5 but it just has um, the rose gold. So this is what the inside of my planner looks like. Um, I do have just a little piece of Planner Society vellum just tucked in there for a little bit extra color. Um, this journaling card is from Kiki K. And then I do have this little card which is from Glimmer and Glam. And then this is um, Jackson Pepper's business card, and I just like the florals. Um, I think it just brightens the planner up a little bit and makes it more feminine, so I added that. And then this die cut is from Tool and Twine, and then this little paper clip is from Kiki K as well. My pen is also from Kiki K. Um, this is the gold and gray, so I thought it matched with the planner pretty well. I'm going for the kind of nudie rose and gray combo for this planner. So I made this new dashboard um, just yesterday actually and I just used some of the clip art that I bought and then I just put a quote. This is my favorite quote. And once again I did make it into a pocket so I just have some stickers here, foiled stickers from Samantha May Sticks and I just keep it in there and then I do have a little bit of the beautiful artwork once again. This clip here is from Sweet Paper Bliss and it's a little Louis bag. It's so cute. Um, and then this dashboard I have some Planner Society paper and then these die cuts are from GP Studio. Um, I really like this combo because I find that GP Studio's artwork and like her, the tone of her um, kits and her die cuts and everything. They're a little bit cold, but I find that um, the TPS has a warmth to it, especially this collection. So I really liked pairing both of them together. Um, I think they match really nicely with this planner. So again, I have the TPS paper and then more die cuts from GP Studio. This is a vellum from TPS, the Planner Society. So if I do say TPS, that's what it means, Planner Society. Um, and I really love this print. It's my favorite of the collection. And um, I think it matches this planner perfectly. So I have that. And then on all the dividers, um, I do have stickers from Ari Bea Shop. And these are custom ones that she made for me. Um, and they're on translucent sticker paper. So my dividers are actually from the B6 Nude divider. I switched it out. Um, and then I put these journaling cards from GP Studio on the top. So you've probably seen these vellum pieces. Um, once again, I made them just using some of the clip art that I bought. And my first section here is just an inbox section. So any ideas or any to-dos, I just drop them in here. So I have this personal size dashboard and I put some TPS paper and these are from the artwork from that girl again, the clip art. And then I have Purpose Papery, Kiki K, and this is from GP Studio. So again, more TPS. Um, this is from the clip art that I bought and then Purpose Papery and Kiki K again. This is also from GP Studio. And this is another one of the vellums that I made. And this next section here is my listings. So I just have a categorized list insert and I'll write all the listings here and then check them off as I complete them. So next up, I do have this file effects insert and I just have 
um, some Van Sticky post-it notes on it. And then again, I have another one of the TPS vellums. This is from GP Studio again. And then another vellum that I made. This insert is from Justenia Principles. It's just the cover though. Um, inside I'm using um, these two grid boxes just for my dailies. And I find this so functional just to have these dailies. Once again, um, I have a smaller dashboard in here and I have Kiki K, um, more of that clip art and TPS paper. These are from GP Studio and this is same clip art and then from TPS. So again, another journaling card and one of my vellums again. This next section is my design section. So I will write down anything that I need to design for the shop, any new releases. And then I have another dashboard which has purpose papery and GP Studio die cuts with TPS paper. I really love this paper. You see, this is another one of my favorite parts of this planner. I just love the cool tones, but it matches really well with this paper. Next up is my fine ad section, um, and I have this A5 dashboard, and these pieces are from GP Studio. And then I do have some clips here. So this high heel shoe clip is from Sweet Paper Bliss. And then this clip here, it's a velvet bow. Um, and this is from Glimmer and Glam, and I have it on rose gold clips. So again, TPS paper, and then the die cuts are from GP Studio. I have a vellum that I made again with the florals. And then next up is my finances, so I'm gonna skip over that. And then I have some TPS paper again. My, my next section is my video section, so this is my YouTube section. And I have some of this um, blush pink jelly paper, so that's what it looks like. And then I have another one of my vellums. And this is my calendar for my YouTube, so anytime I'm going to schedule a video, I have it here. And then I will also use these inserts here from any plans to kind of um, to plot out any videos that I need to plan. My last section has a piece of vellum again from TPS, and this is from GB Studio. I have another one from the kit. And then here is just reference, so I just have a bunch of list paper. I have things like planner sizes, um, any instructions that I need to remember, um, any listing info, descriptions, stuff like that. And then I do have the page marker here, and then this clip is the gray corduroy clip, and that is from Glimmering Glam Co., and this is also from her. It's just a journaling card and I put that on the page marker. So that's it. So this is my shop planner. So I do have a code to my shop if you are interested in purchasing any stickers or inserts. I will leave that in the description box below for you guys to check out. So once again, this is the B6 size vintage rose planner from Kiki K and I'm using it as my shop planner. And lastly, I do have my personal wide Aura Stell, and this is in the Scarlet. The color of this is the Shadow Boxer, and I've been using this as my personal planner. So first up, I do have this beautiful um, silver pen, and this is from Kiki K. Fits perfectly in the little slot there. So this is the rings and strings combo. So you do have the elastics here in the front and on the back, um, but I'm not using them. I do have something in the back though. Um, I do have this dashboard that I made, which I can probably punch and put it here if I want to. Um, so that's what it looks like on both sides. So I can kind of decide which side I want to use it. And I have that just here in the front. Um, I have some vellum that I made and just to put there to add a little bit of brightness, a uh, doily, and then a page marker. 
Um, this is from Tool and Twine, as is this. Um, and then once again, I made a dashboard with the clip art. This one has more of a summer theme and the other ones had more wintry or fall theme. Um, and then I do have this little clip and that's from, I think it's from Create With Pen. Um, this is from Van Sticky and then this is from Sweet Planner. So I just made the little pocket there. So all these little bits and pieces are from the same clip art. This clip is from Glimmer and Glam Co. So this first section here is my inbox. Um, and this is where I just list all the things that I need to do and I kind of categorize it in the different sections. So different topics will have a different section. And that way I just don't have one whole to-do list. Um, it gets a little bit um, confusing for me. So having it kind of sectioned out allows me to better organize things. Um, all my tabs are from the Panda Pig. So I bought the final and then I made the tabs myself. So this is in the Bow and Stars design and it's in the Silver Hollow. So behind all of these sections, I do have these dashboards and these are from Tool and Twine Co. Um, I have some vellum that I just made and printed out. Um, and this first section here is my monthly. So this is my monthly inserts in the personal wide size. So this is what it looks like. It has a Monday start and I have a space for notes as well. I always do plan with me's in these inserts, especially in the personal size. So I will link those down below. Next up, I have another divider and this dashboard from Tool and Twine. Um, this vellum here is a flower vellum and that is from Purpose Papery. So these are the inserts that I'm using and these are new releases that are coming to the shop. So um, it's a functional weekly. So we have Monday to Friday here, Saturday and Sunday, as well as two to-do lists to kind of break up so you can use it as personal or work or one for cleaning or one for YouTube or whatever. And then you also have space for washi or you can put the month and week there. So those are the inserts that I've been using um, in here and I've been using this to pre-plan my weeks. Um, I do have other weeklies in here in case I want to use someone else's. So this vinyl is from the Panda Pig again, just has my initial there. Um, and I do have vertical weeklies and these are from Jasenia's. And then I do have another one another vinyl and this is in the crescent moon and that's also from panda pig and then these inserts are from annie plans so i just have some different weeklies just so i can have them and i can pre-plan quite early and in advance um, it's important for me to have quite a lot of weeks in here so that i have a overview of the whole entire year so next up I do have another dashboard from Tool and Twine, another one of my vellums, and this die cut is again from that clip art, and these are the daily inserts that I've been using. So once again, these are from Annie Plans. This die cut is from Tool and Twine, and this is another one of the vellums that I made. So this next section is my daily notes section. So I just have boxes and I find that having the grid is perfect for me. Um, if I need to spill over into the second box, then I will. So I'll use um, a whole page for one day or sometimes I'll just use the one section. My last section here, I do have another dashboard and another piece of vellum. So in here, I just have all my lists. So, so this is just a list of all the planners that I have in different sizes. Um, I also put my shop coupon codes here as well as my passwords. So that's why I'm not showing you those bits. Um, but yeah, just anything that I need to reference quickly will go in that last section. Um, I made this dashboard and this is just using some art from Tool and Twine says you are beautiful and then also it has the beautiful gold um, stripes in the back 
on my elastic here I just added this in yesterday so this um, is just a little folder that I had um, and yeah if I want to put any extra stickers or receipts or any extra note paper I have that in there in the little pocket here I just have this freebie and this is from White Deer Stationery and I have another die cut from that clip art um, I have some more stickers here um, and this is from Hello Petite Paper so it's just like some foiled stickers that I want to use up I just have some vellum here just to add a little bit of color and then also same thing with this journaling card this I got from Simply Beautiful Plans so it just sits there just to add a little bit of pink to the back and I think it brings in um, the pink of the folder and the blue here matches really nicely with this folder as well so that is my personal wide planner so once again I am doing my pre-planning in here now um, because my pocket planner was a little bit too small for me um, I still really love pocket because it's so portable and I can bring it anywhere and write things in quickly but um, for now I do need the extra space um, I need quite a lot of list space as well so um, the personal wide size is working really well for me and I'm thinking of moving into this size um, full time in the new year so I'm just trying to get into the groove of changing up my system again um, so that I'm not constantly switching sizes when things get busy having just a larger planner in general I think will um, be enough to accommodate all my needs whether I'm in the busy season of my life or when I'm in the off season so I'm hoping that I can keep to these two sizes which is the A5 size and the B6 um, slash personal wide size for the rest of the year I'm hoping that it'll be enough space for me to be able to fit everything that I need to um, also by keeping the same size consistent I think um, I'll be able to store the inserts a little bit more easier so if I need to go back and reference anything um, you know I can go to a single binder and have all my inserts there so that is my little update on my 2020 planner system I hope you guys enjoyed it um, once again please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to my channel for more videos for me um, and do also check out my Etsy shop and Angeline Principles. It's because I will be having um, a lot more new releases coming up. So please look forward to that. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye!